Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, Major Arcana, Justice in the Upright. Followed then by the Seven of Wands reversed. Next we have the Seven of Swords reversed. Followed then by the Nine of Cups upright. And lastly, the King of Wands in the upright position. Okay, your overall energy is justice. The Libra energy in the upright position. Justice is simply about that. There could be a situation coming... Uh, full circle for you this week, Virgo, where you finally feel like you have your justice. It could be literally playing out in the legal system. It could be that you hear some kind of judgment coming down. Uh, justice will be yours, uh, Virgo. Uh, sometimes this can come about when there's something going on. There's been an injustice going on, say, at work. An arbitrator steps in and brings justice or someone else speaks up and brings justice. Could even be you yourself, Virgo, stepping up and bringing justice to a situation. For others of you, it could be simply about you witnessing some poetic justice coming down where it's like, Oh, karma. Okay, that's it. <laughs> the world is is uh, back in, in balance again. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, coming right off the hop, you have the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. <clears throat> now, Seven of Wands is an interesting energy in the upright. This is all about protection, right? It's when we're protecting our heart, protecting our privacy, protecting someone else. <coughs> Excuse me. We could be uh, waiting for the other shoe to drop. Perhaps we're doing something or saying something. We're not sure how it's going to be received by other others. It's just kind of like a protection shield type of energy when it's in the upright. When it's reversed, this is where we're dropping that, where we're feeling like either if you put something out there, you did something... Well, justice is here to uh, back you up. But if you did something, maybe you're just not at all concerned about, you know, the other shoe dropping. It could be you're just dropping uh, your defenses on that. For others of you, you could be uh, refusing to protect another person whom you realize doesn't deserve your protection. Sometimes this can be about protecting someone. Then you realize, oh, maybe I shouldn't have been protecting them whatever. So you just decide to, you know, drop that protection. Others of you, um, maybe you're just realizing that there's no need to protect your heart. You no need to protect your privacy at this time because you kind of feel like just, you know, putting it out there. Next card is the seven of swords in reverse. Now this is interesting in the upright. This can point to that scoundrel, somebody who's trying to make off um, you know, trying to avoid the consequences of a dis of a of a of a dishonorable act. Well, I'm just drawn to the justice card right now <laughs> because oftentimes this can indicate the thief gets caught. Somebody was trying to dip out, trying to do something unethical or illegal, and um, they get caught. Maybe that's where the justice comes in for some of you. You'll have to let us know in the comment section below. But for others of you, you're no longer avoiding because see, the Seven of Swords can represent avoidance where we're trying to avoid dealing with a pe uh, person or people, <laughs> like it could be a group of people. It could be avoid dealing with a situation that's going on in your life and you're just like, I don't want to deal with that. But when it's reversed, this is when we're no longer avoiding that. So for some of you, perhaps you were avoiding dealing with a situation that was involving a protection but now it's like i'm not going to protect that person anymore and so i'm not going to you know avoid um avoid dealing with the situation it looks like you're just dealing with something maybe that's what brings about the justice or because the justice is there and you're just kind of letting everything go because you're like well i don't need to protect anybody anymore i, I let the chips fall where they may and uh, I know that justice is done in this situation or will be done. So you're all good. Moving on towards the weekend, you have the wish card. Nice. The Nine of Cups in the upright position. This is 
a wish fulfillment. Now, for some of you, it could be a small wish manifesting. For others of you, this could be a major wish, maybe something you would have been hoping for a long time. Again, some of you may have been hoping for this justice situation to finally play out. And... Um, you know, and now you're happy about it. Remember with the Nine of Cups, it's also a card of warning of excess. So just don't get too crazy. I mean, it is, well, mind you, it's close to the weekend. So party on. <laughs> this can be celebrating the fact that the wish fulfillment has now, you know, come to come into play. And especially with the justice being here, I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Like, is there justice? Is this what you hope for? Was somebody caught doing something? Like there's so many potentials here. So let us know in the comment section below. Last card you have is the King of Wands in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So uh, the King of Wands is somebody who is very energetic very much a go-getter if this is your boss i would say like this person is probably having you run here there maybe wants you to travel to this place it's all about movement and action and taking action some of you this is your your spouse or uh someone in your life could be a friend or a family member even that is jumping to into action maybe that's what you were hoping for <laughs> this was the wish maybe you were hoping that you know, your husband was actually going to start doing some of the things that you wanted him to do. It was on the list. And now he's jumping into action. For others of you, this could be your love interest. Perhaps this person is somebody who's fun, exciting, adventurous. That's what the King of Wands is all about. But he's about movement. He's about travel. Maybe it is on the weekend. Maybe some of you are traveling with or to see a King of Wands. But it's fun. It's excitement. It's adventure. And uh, justice is the overall energy. Looks like a really good week. It's like something is being, you know, cleared up. Uh, wrongs are being righted in this situation. And then it's like come the weekend, you just want to go and, you know, have some fun, have some adventure, maybe travel, do some things. Because you finally are seeing justice in a situation that you felt was really unjust. So definitely... Uh, you know, bring, bring on the comments <laughs> and don't forget to share the show, share it far and wide to anyone whom you think might get some, um, some clarity or some, something helpful. Like say, you know, somebody it's like, Hey, this person is going through something. I think this reading might help them. Don't be shy. Just send it off to them share the show share it far and wide and um other than that i hope you have a fantastic week and thank you so much for joining me and i hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next week take care much love bye bye for now <laughs>